I wanted to take a minute today to show you how to successfully solder galvanized steel. This is used a lot of times for flashing and, and just recently I made this hatch to put into my roof so that I could get up there without having to climb a ladder. And in order to do that, I needed to solder the corners of it so it would be watertight. And in the past, I've had a lot of trouble soldering galvanized steel. I finally figured that out a while back. And so just wanted to pass that on to you because I tried a lot of things that people suggested and it was super frustrating. This is, this is some old flux I've had around forever. It's called all metal flux. I bought this to solder galvanized steel and it was totally unsuccessful. I think this is called Ruby. It's actually eaten off the side of it. So I don't know. I think this is Ruby flux. It didn't, it was supposed to work for galvanized steel. It didn't work either. What you need is muriatic acid. This is from Home Depot. I'll list it in the description for you. It was, I don't remember, but I'll put, put it on the screen there, the price. And then I bought this little reagent jar. I'll put these in the description for you too, just so that I could keep a small quantity of it handy to be able to use. You need something that's going to seal really well. It doesn't have any metal in it because this is an acid and it will eat through whatever metal you have it next to. And then I'm using some, this is 60-40 solder. That is 40% tin and 60% lead. The 60-40 solder is going to work better on this than lead free. And you don't need the lead free because you're not doing water pipes. You also need a soldering iron that is going to get hot enough. This is a 200 watt soldering iron. I will list a soldering iron in the description that is comparable to this and much cheaper. All right, then your metal needs to be clean-ish. So I have not scoured this. I haven't really cleaned it. I just took it out of the, cut it off the sheet uh, that it originally came on. So it might have a light film of oil on it. I don't know about that. I don't really care. You notice it's not rusty, but I don't know why you would want to try to solder rusty metal for flashing anyway. You're kind of going backwards there. You're probably replacing something that's rusted. You want a nice, well galvanized piece of steel. It's nice and clean. And then you, your flux is going to clean that further so that your solder will stick. If your solder's not sticking, then your surface isn't clean enough. And it could be that you need more flux, or maybe you started out with some metal that was a little too dirty. Now, you also have to get enough heat to make that flow. All right, let me cut a little small piece and we'll solder some metal. So I've got a piece of, uh, just a piece of tile here so I don't burn anything in here. Now, remember this is muriatic acid, it is acid. So you're gonna wanna wear some gloves and we're just gonna take a Q-tip and we're gonna paint it on here. Now notice it's kind of shiny right now and when we put this on there, it's gonna dull. You're gonna see it fizz a little bit and it's gonna dull. You wanna do this in a well-ventilated area too. And you can see it's kind of taking the sheen off of that. You gotta flux both sides, get a little bit more. And everywhere that you flux is where the solder's going to flow. All right, so now we're gonna put the two sides together that were fluxed. And now all we have to do is heat that and apply some solder. We do wanna get our soldering iron clean. I'm gonna take a brush and brush that off. And here we go. Just heat this up. We're going to apply and see you apply a little heat and you can see that that has already flowed over to the other sides, which means that we have good penetration there. We have soldered these two pieces together. We just need to let them cool. And there we go. We got them joined together. We've got a nice waterproof seal there. That solder has flowed all the way through that joint and sealed it. Okay, it's that simple. Hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.